Today let's take a look at minor chords and see what they're made out of. Of course you know the sound of minor chords. Right? Or... But how do you form minor chords? Well it's real easy. If you know major chords, and I trust you do by now, you know that a major chord is made out of the root, third, and fifth of the major scale. So in the key of C, that's the major scale. I take the root, third, and fifth, and that's the major chord. To make a minor, all I do is lower the third one half step. So I move the third, which is E, down to E flat. Remember, this is one, two, three. That's the third note of the scale. And so I lower that half step to E flat. The F major scale is, uh, the F major chord is like that, based on the F major scale, root, third, and fifth of the F major scale. And if I lower the third there, I'm lowering A to A flat, so that would be F minor. That's the G major chord based on the G major scale. If I lower the third, that would be G minor. That's the D major chord based on the scale of D, which goes like that. And if I lower the third, I'm lowering it from F sharp to F natural. So D minor is all white, all white keys. The same is true of E. The E major chord is like that, based on the E major scale. <laughs> and uh, if I lower the third half step, I'm lowering G sharp to G natural. So that's E minor. A minor would be the same idea. You base your playing on the scale of A, and that's the A major chord. So I lower the third half step, and that's A minor. So notice the first three chords, C, F, and G, all had a black third. D, the mi D minor, E minor, A minor all had a white, they're all white keys, right? Now that's the D flat major chord or the C sharp major chord based on the major scale. <clears throat> and if I take the root, third, and fifth of that major scale, I have a major chord. So how do I lower the third? The third is F, so I'm just going to have to play what looks like E, but I can't call it that. If I wrote it on music, I'd have to write a flat in front of F. So that's known as F flat right there, okay? Why? Because you're lowering the third, and the third of the D flat major scale is F, not E. So you have to call that F flat, okay? The E flat major chord is like that, based on the E flat major scale. If I lower the third, I'm lowering up from G to G flat, like so. The A flat major chord is based on the A flat major scale. And the third is C, so how do I lower that? We'll do it the same as we did uh, in the D flat scale. We lower a white note to another white key. So instead of playing C <clears throat> as a third, we play C flat. You have to call that C flat. Now the G flat major scale is, uh, or G flat major chord is like that. Three black keys. So how do you flat a flat? In other words, I have to lower that half step. That's right, I have to go down to what looks like A, but can I call it A? No, because the third is B flat, I gotta call that B double flat. That would be two flats in front of the B if you're gonna write it out. The B major scale, which goes like that, here's a B major chord. I lower the third a half step from D sharp to D natural, and that is B minor. And the B flat uh, major chord is like that, based on the B flat scale and I lower D to D flat. And so that is D, uh, B flat minor. So let's just review that real quickly. C major, C minor, F major, F minor, G major, G minor, D major, D minor, E major, E minor, A major, A minor, D flat major, D flat minor, E flat major, E flat minor, A flat major, A flat minor, G flat major, G flat minor, B major, B minor, and B flat, uh, and B flat minor, okay? And that's it for minor chords. Once you know that, you've got minor chords down cold. And of course, you can play them all over the keyboard. You can play them upside down, broken up, or whatever you want to do. But, but they're that simple that you just lower the third of a major chord. Thanks. See you tomorrow.